Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest monstrous unboxing. As the spooky season continues on, we've got a very special monster today uh, from Super 7's TMNT Ultimates line. We're going to take a look at Slash, who looks like a big, giant monster. Uh, possibly, I think, the biggest one that we're going to be taking a look at all month long. And since the month is winding down, he's not going to have a lot of competition left, is he? Uh, so we've got that nice mailer box. I talk about it every time. And we get into the actual... Now, this box is much larger than a standard Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates release. This is, this is massive. I was actually surprised because I didn't realize... Uh, that Slash was going to be that much bigger than the other Turtles. As I've told you guys before, uh, I just kind of order it. Like, if it's a character I know I want, I just order it. I don't look at everything it comes with. I don't look at comparisons or details or anything else. Like, I knew I wanted Slash, so I put my order in, and here he is. And now I get to find out uh, the size and the accessories and everything else that comes with this guy. That's the way I like to get my toys. Uh, so we've got the, you know, as always, the beautiful Super 7 box, that gorgeous Turtles logo on the back. And speaking of gorgeous logos, uh, have you ordered your Needless Things Spooky Season sh shirt yet? Check it out at the link in the, what is it, the comments, the caption? What do you call all the words that are underneath YouTube videos that nobody looks at? Uh, well, anyway, uh, you can go there right now and order your very own Needless Things t-shirt. So let's get that slip cover off. And he is a very large figure. Man. Uh, he is massive. This is great. Because if you remember the original toy line, which I adore and is the reason I'm collecting these rather than NECA's cartoon turtles or, or you know, whatever else, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line was probably the fourth great toy line of my life uh, as far as my investment and the size of the collection that I had. Uh, it would have started with Migos, gone into Star Wars, then G.I. Joe, then Ninja Turtles. Now I had other things here and there, but Ninja Turtles was really the fourth and final great toy line of my childhood because after that I you know moved on and was basically an adult collector. I think after Ninja Turtles I went to Toy Biz, uh, Marvel Superheroes, and X-Men and all. So, but by that point I was a teenager, so this, you know, right, came in right at the end. I was 12, 13 when the Turtles line started, so it was just the end of childhood. So it still has that nostalgia for me. But anyway, the original Slash figure was about the same size as the Turtles figures, and Super 7 has, has gone and made him much, much larger. Uh, the packaging is beautiful. If you can see uh, the gloss on kind of the condensation of the sewer on the side of the box, the printing there. I think that's beautiful. Uh, and then on the back of the box, we've got a little, little bio. Slash, the evil turtle from Dimension X. In an attempt to fight fire with fire, Shredder created the perfect turtle terror, a ninja nemesis from Dimension X named Slash. This snarling, snapping mutant menace is the total opposite of our beloved turtle teens. He's a crazed carnivorous cannibal who only eats tender turtle tenderloin even for breakfast this anti-turtle teen slashes his way through the sewers on a maniacal mission of mass destruction armed with his psycho psi and one good eye slash skewers anything that's good and green what a dastardly nemesis for the turtles uh let's get him out of here and check this figure out i'm i'm very excited and lots more turtles coming very very soon uh, I actually have two out in the sort of holding area right now. Uh, and then two more are on the way from Big Bad Toy Store. Because I've... Lately, Big Bad has been getting their stuff in before Super 7 does. So I, I have been ordering from Big Bad uh, lately. And I might have, depending on when that Big Bad shipment gets here, I might have one sort of bonus spooky review uh, coming. We'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, so we've got, you know, tons of accessories. One of the trademarks of the Super 7 lines. And I think it's hilarious uh, how massive Slash's sprue is in comparison to the other releases. 
then yeah, I'm kind of just jacking up the uh, the plastic here. And I do save, and it's, I'm, I'm very close to a breaking point. I have been saving uh, all of the packaging for all of my Super 7 releases because the, the boxes are so nice. But realistically, I just don't need to keep those, and I think I'm getting pretty close to just tossing uh, all of my Super 7 boxes because they take up a lot of space, you guys. Okay, so yeah, there is the sprue, which is a throwback to the original Ninja Turtles line. All the weapons that are included with this figure, uh, you know, in painted versions, like this grenade, uh, are as they were in the original toy line, unpainted and attached here. And obviously I'll never take these off. Uh, and I do wonder if, I mean, there, surely there are people out there who do clip them off of this sprue because they want them to have the unpainted weapons like the original figures did. I'd be interested to hear from somebody uh, who, who does that. Uh, and it would be fun to sit here with my nippers. Uh, well, I've actually got better. I wouldn't use these. I've got... Uh, why am I? Who cares? Uh, I've got model nippers that I that I would use for these. Uh, it would be fun, but I, I wouldn't do it because I like this piece as is. And yeah, it's just sitting in a drawer, but you know, it's one of those things. It's uh, you know, we collectors have our odd quirks, and that's one of mine is keeping Super Seven packaging and giant pieces of plastic that I don't really need. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this, he, this guy could end up being one of the best releases from this Ultimates line. Uh, he, he is already kind of blowing my mind with the accessories and the size and everything else. And you got to consider, uh, he was not a premium priced figure. He was priced the same, uh, the... Well, I can't remember if they'd gone up to 55 yet when he was offered. Uh, oh man, that's that is so sharp. I just hurt myself. So uh, these these toys, not for kids and possibly not for adult dum dums like myself. But yeah, he he was a regular price man, and, and he's giant and comes with all of this stuff. It's really wild. Uh, you know, whatever you want to say about Super 7, they put so much thought and care into design, into delivering things that are just fun and amazing. Uh, and yeah, I know a lot of people have issues with their, you know, how long it takes to receive these. In my personal opinion, Super 7 has, has never, uh, delivered anything egregiously late, uh, given their business model. Hmm, let's see here. Sorry guys, I'm I'm uh, still hunting for a good audio solution. My earbuds that I was using kind of failed me again. So I apologize for all that extraneous noise. Uh, but yeah, the Bluetooth is still a little problematic uh, on my phone here. All right. Beautiful colors. I, I have always loved Slash's combination of this dark turquoise type color, like a teal sort of, uh, and then his purple wrappings and armor pieces and his belt. Shape-wise, he is very much like our turtles, but nastier. Those yellow spines also stand out really nicely. And take a look, he's got storage on his belt for all these weapons that he comes with. Uh, he's got pegs, I guess, for the throwing stars. Um, he's got a sort of sheath right over here. He's got another pocket type deal situation over here. Uh, so lots of storage on this guy. Now he's obviously not going to be able to hold everything that's included, but they did a nice job. Uh, so take a look at that. Those nasty, crazy teeth. Uh, he looks almost like an exaggerated caricature of the Turtles. Uh, if you followed the, the original Mirage comic along long enough, and it got a little more cartoony as time went along, you could actually see the Turtles almost looking kind of like this facial expression, depending on the artist, like if they were surprised or something. It almost had sort of an anime quality, but 
This is definitely Slash's portrait. Uh, that big yellow eye. Those teeth are just immaculately sculpted. And look at the depth in his mouth there. Uh, you know, it's not just... It, it's... It has that uh, spacing. The skin with all the sculpting and the wash of paint, giving it that detail, all the little warts and everything. Uh, the, I mean, this is a labor of love. The guys, it's the, the guys and gals at Super 7 uh, obviously love what they're doing. Articulation-wise, and I know this is kind of another point of contention with some collectors, is, is that they wish Super 7 Ultimates were more articulated. Uh, I don't agree with that point of view. I think the amount of articulation they have is perfect for the type of product that is being done. Uh, if these had double-jointed elbows and knees, they wouldn't look as good to me. It would mess up the profile of the figure. It would, it would uh, ruin what Super 7 is trying to achieve by doing things this way. Look at the... just. This is... When I was a kid and I got Slash... This, in my mind, is what he was supposed to look like. All of this painted detail. Look at all the scars on his shell here. Uh, but those skulls, I mean, this, you know, the belt on the original was just all purple. Uh, which was fine for that toy at that time. But this is, with all of this detail, this is what I wanted out of that figure. Uh, now, I will nitpick here and say I do kind of wish the ropes on his shoulder pads had a little bit of paint on them. Not a huge deal, but I think it would be a nice touch. Uh, but the, the skull and crossbones on his belt look fantastic. You can see those gnarly turtle toes. Uh, single jointed knees, but there is a swivel right there at the base. Uh, and then, of course, he's a snapping turtle, so he's got that snapping turtle tail back there that is articulated. Look at that. Doesn't do a whole lot, but it's a neat touch. Uh, and then he's got, like the turtle figures, uh, he actually does have a waist up in under his shell. Uh, it doesn't do a lot, but it's another little point, you know, just to give you as much flexibility as they can while maintaining the, the profile and toyetic design of the character, which is what's important to me. Uh, so let's take a look and see how he compares to Michelangelo, one of the turtles. And as you can see, Slash is much larger than Michelangelo. Uh, he's, you know, a good bit taller and tons thicker. Uh, if you compare their actual, their torsos there, you can see he is a mega turtle. So almost twice as big, really, if, you, if you're just looking at mass, almost twice as big as the regular turtles figures. Fantastic. And, and again, something that I didn't realize was going to be the case until I saw the box. Uh, all right. So let's set this incredible figure aside. As much as I don't want to, I want to sit here and just play with this guy for a while. Uh, take a look at the accessories. We've got an alternate portrait, which I really appreciate because it is kind of more of a classic turtle face with those teeth on the sides. Uh, looks really nice. I like that one. I don't think it's the one I'll use because it's almost a little too turtly. Uh, but it's a nice alternate. I like it. Well done. You've got a plethora of alternate hands available. Uh, full sets for left and for right. You've got closed fists right there. You've got uh, sort of a almost relaxed pre-attack kind of pose. Uh, and then you've got C grips that are okay. Now I've, I've got to remember. Yes, the C grips that come on the figure, the defaults have that up and down hinge, uh, and then these C grips have the lateral hinge. I guess would be a way to say it: the left to right hinge. So I love that Super 7 is giving us both of those with these figures. It's a really nice touch. Uh, we've got... What else is in here? We've got a couple of grenades. That are probably the most brutal looking grenades I've ever seen. You can see they're actually... They kind of match Slash's shell. And they have 
you know, they're green, they're silver, but they also have a wash on them to bring out all that spiky little detail. Those are fantastic. And I would imagine these grenades can be held in those hands. Let's see. Yeah, you kind of squeeze them in there so he can hold that in his hand. Uh, you have his sword and his scythe, which are a little weird to me. I don't feel... Oh, let me get that out of the way. I don't feel like this part should be on here. I think this is something that should have been trimmed off. That perhaps... Sorry. That perhaps the factory missed. But the weapon itself, otherwise, is great. I love the the angular quality of it. It almost looks like, like in old Tom and Jerry cartoons when uh, Tom would have the sword and would, you know, stick it into something that didn't want to be stuck into and it bent up. Kind of looks like that. And I really like that cartoony quality, but also the edges, the way that they've done the edges on this, it just looks great. I think I'm probably going to have to take my nippers and take that off. And I do wonder if this is black or if it is silver. I cannot tell which one is the paint. Hopefully, well, see, there's some paint. Looks like the silver is what's painted. Because I really don't want to nip that off and then have black underneath. Uh, all right. And then the same thing with his psi, his psycho psi. Same sort of design, same sort of model. Fantastic design, but it also still has these little ends on it then his barbed nunchucks which i mentioned earlier these are actually quite pointy well you can see leaving holes in my fingers but they look great and you know i love michelangelo as you saw has actual die cast chain on his nunchucks uh that was not the case here but there there really wasn't wouldn't have been a way to make these look like they're supposed to look and give them an actual chain. I mean, I suppose you could have, but I feel like it, that really would have been maybe expecting a little bit too much. Uh, so those look fantastic. He's got his big giant uh, trench knife, which is probably what I'm going to end up giving him anyway. I don't think I'll give him the sword and the scythe. And let, well, they may fit in his belt. We'll find that out in a second. But I believe this knife and this bad boy are what he's going to be holding. Just all that detail, all that... Just imagine being hit in the... Anywhere with something like this. It's just brutal and looks great and is big and chunky and hefty to go along with the figure. That's what I love is these weapons... Uh, these three, at least, are so nice and oversized. Uh, they really complement uh, Slash. Unlike the weapons that came with Bebop and Rocksteady. Sorry, guys. All right, so let's see where we can store some of this stuff. Uh, we know these throwing stars. Oh, I didn't. we didn't look at the throwing stars. Uh, he's got three different throwing stars. Two of them match. One of them is just sort of a more standard throwing star. Uh, they look great. They're just silver. So let's get those onto his belt. Uh, and here's here's one of those things that it's your personal toy display taste as to how you do this. Uh, I'm going to put both of the matching stars uh, that kind of look like the glaive from Krull. Oh, maybe I'm not because look, it seems like that peg. Oh, no, wait, that one just went on more easily than this one did. So I'm going to put the matching ones on that side, and then I'm going to put the other one on this side, even though that may not be... Oh, that may not be what you're supposed to do. Let's see here. No, that's not going to fit any better. So yeah, we'll do this over here. And then this one may take a little more effort to get it on there. So we're going to leave that aside for now because goodness knows you guys don't want to sit here and watch me struggle with a little plastic tab. Uh, so weapon-wise, this larger sort of slot in the back 
The knife's not going to fit in there, so that must be for the Psy. And then this narrower one right here, I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what's going to fit in there. I wonder if, will the Psy fit in there? It's just kind of right next to that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe we'll put the Psy there. Uh, maybe a grenade goes here. I'm trying to remember on the original figure what the setup was for all this stuff. Maybe the grenades kind of clip on like that. That's probably not right, but it's what we're doing right now. Oh, wait. Okay, they actually fit better like that. And again, that may not be right, but it doesn't matter. You play with your toys however you want. And then we'll just stick his sword in there. Because why not? And then uh, he can hold, you know, whatever else. Whatever else I decide I want to put in his hand. So there you go. Uh, that is Slash from Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ultimates. One of my current favorite toy lines. Uh, it's always a delight to get these figures in the mail. They're, they're fantastic and Slash one of the best ones they've done in my opinion this is a gorgeous giant chunky heavy menacing figure uh, and a great way to continue the spooky season with our creepy monstrous toy reviews thanks for watching you guys please like subscribe share tell your friends about needless things and go buy yourself a needless things t-shirt thanks you guys gosh i love eating a turtle Smash that like button if you like needless things.